My name is Cynthia and I'm going to talk about layers available through the CalFlora database. For instance, this is a precipitation layer. Let's get out of full screen. From the observation search application as well as other CalFlora applications. Observation search is a way to look at observations found in specific parts of the state and you can use layers to narrow down what you're interested in. From the CalFlora homepage, calflora.org, there's a link to observation search here on the left. And let's go over some of the layers available from the map. Choose region. Let's make whatever we choose a little bit more visible. For instance, protected areas. So here are the protected areas in the state, CNPS chapters. Jepson eFlora Geographic Subdivision, Jepson Region, zip, zip Code, EPA Eco Region 4, 3, Watershed, and under Climate we have Precipitation, which is what we were seeing originally, and other climate options, and under Soil we have Serpentine Area. So if we zoom out to see more of the state, the red, the blue, and the purple areas indicate serpentine parts of the state. And we could query a very specific, let's do this one. And it doesn't mean only serpentine affinity species necessarily grow here, but there should be some in our results. Um, it's a pretty big area, so I could narrow it down by date. 2016 and see what grows in this serpentine area, what observations there are since 2016. 405 total. can look at them by clicking on them on the map. Um, can also look at them by folding up the map. And here's the table view. You can sort by plant name, by date, by observer. And if you want to get a closer look at any of these species, click on the scientific name, which takes you to the taxon report page for this species, including a bloom period, more photos. You can go back to observation search for just this species here, and alternate names, and more information about that species. If you have questions, from the CalFlora homepage at the bottom, Here's our phone number, and if you email us, click here, please include the URL, for instance, this exact, copy this and paste that into your email, so we're able to see what you're seeing and help answer your questions. We look forward to hearing from you, and thank you.